Hi everyone! Welcome to Let's Connect and Celebrate Wonder. When something needs to be repurposed, it's usually because it has lost its value or become worn and broken. In our story today, Peter and John are about to enter the temple gates when a crippled man asks them for money. Peter responds, silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus, walk. Taking him by the hand, Peter helped the man up, and instantly the crippled man went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. Who is this bold, confident, unwavering disciple? Wasn't his faith worn and character broken that faithful night when he denied Jesus? Didn't he lose his value and purpose in the eyes of Jesus? Peter experienced the power of the Holy Spirit, giving him newfound confidence and repurpose when he met the resurrected Christ along the Sea of Galilee. Peter received restoration through the forgiving grace of our risen Lord. His life was repurposed. God uses everything, even our brokenness, for his glory. There is power in a repurposed life. And in this story, it was not only witnessed through Peter's faith and confidence in the Holy Spirit, but through the crippled man who praised God and shared his healing story with others. Witnessing, sharing, and putting our faith in action inspires others to put their faith in action. When we are feeling worn, broken, and of little value, through the power of the Holy Spirit, nothing goes to waste. God repurposes it all and uses it for good. When we open our hearts to Jesus, we too will be empowered to boldly witness, share, and put our faith in action. It's time for Kids Connect. Hi everyone, let's see what's in our Wonder Box this week. It's Chip, the little teacup from the Disney movie Beauty and the Beast. Chip has a chip, and once a teacup has a chip, it's considered useless and has no purpose. I think that was how Chip was feeling in the movie, and that's how the disciple Peter was feeling after Jesus died. You see, when Jesus was arrested and put on trial, Peter watched from the courtyard while Jesus was being falsely accused. Peter was afraid, and when he was asked if Jesus was his friend, he said he didn't know him. After Jesus died, this made Peter feel very ashamed and broken. And like Chip, he felt useless with no purpose. But after his resurrection, Jesus appears to Peter and not only forgives him, but repurposes his life to go out and love and heal others in his name. And that's exactly what he did. In our story today, Peter and John were on their way to the temple when a crippled man asked them for money. Peter said, I have no money, but I'll give you something much better. Peter took him by the hand and helped him up saying, in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. The man was instantly healed. Then walking, leaping and praising God, he went into the temple with them and everyone who saw him, their hearts were changed. Do you ever feel like you have a chip? Maybe like Peter, it's a mistake that you made, or a disability like the crippled man, or feeling useless and unimportant like Chip. We all have chips, but God uses our chips to show that none of us are perfect. God wants you to trust him so he can shine through your chip. In the movie, Chip realizes his importance and saves the day when he rescues Belle. Always remember that your chip can be repurposed and used by God for the good to share the healing power of Jesus with others. Have a great week. Love and miss you all.